Hello out there. How are all you clones doing? Fritz Whitman, California Tile Restoration. I'm down here in Rancho Bernardo. Uh, basically, purpose of the video is I'm going to show you how to remove coatings. Uh, we're using a chemical, not water. There's no water in it. It's chemical. It's a liquid. It's not a jelly. It's not a semi-paste. It's a true liquid stripper. Um, point of the video, though, is to show you, one, how it works, and two, just to kind of show you that why this work is done better by hand than machines. Like, for instance, you know, how does a machine even get this? You see? So... We'll start off, we always start above it because it's going to run down. You let it get wet for you. And you can see immediately how it gets dark here. That's because my stripper's melting it. Ladies, you know, you've had fingernail polish removed before. It's real similar to that. Gentlemen, you know, if you've stripped furniture or use some goof off or use some kind of acetone, it's all chemicals. But this is more designed to move, to melt and remove things. And what it does is it melts it from the inside out. That's why it got dark. So what it does is it goes inside, it penetrates inside of it, and it melts it from the inside out. So then you can see I push it down the walls to kind of let it work for me. Because this is one of these things that doesn't matter how strong you are, doesn't matter how hard you scrub, you want to let the stripper melt it for you. And you can see, you can see all that. Look at that, that's a pile of it. Look at that, that pile is just from these couple tiles. That's how thick this crap is. So this is a lacquer product. It's not a water-based product. Um, lacquers melt different than water-based products. They have a tendency to stay a little like, um, like snot, I guess, more gloopy. And if you look at this, that's more like chunky. I don't know, there are little differences, but it's things we notice while we're doing it. So you can see, this is how you properly strip a wall. Now imagine, we're outside right now, so I could be a little messier. But imagine we're inside your house. Oh yeah, look, we're going to use machines, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that. I mean, could you imagine this shit flinging all over your house? I can't. So anyway, though, watch this. So now that I've stripped it all off, I'm going to buff it dry. We use these good old rags here. And because it's a chemical, it'll dry out fairly fast. There's no water in it, like I was saying. Um, so, the purpose of the video is to show you how to remove sealer, not wax, not floor polish. Sealer, and a, a lacquer sealer to be specific. So as you can see, it's drying out here. You can see all the nice color coming back. See how these have all kind of turned white? But because basically how these sealers work, it's kind of like uh, when you're doing your dishes and you try to wash dishes with cold water and it turns white. Or if you set a wet glass on wood before and you lift it up and it's left a ring because of the moisture of the water. Well, this is what's happening, but it doesn't dry out and go away. Usually with wood, the ring will dry out. On the, on the tile, you can see it turns white. See how it's flaking and peeling? So... That's why we're removing it and we're switching them over to a different sealer. So this is pretty much fully dried out. And maybe a little piece right here. But you can see how nice and clean and they almost look pretty darn perfect again. And then what we're going to do after this is we're going to uh, lightly acid wash them to clean them one more step in our process. And then we're going to seal it and I'll show you more of that stuff. So if you like this, you should subscribe to this. Share it if you got a buddy that needs this type of work done, a contractor buddy, if you're... You know, your friend's trying to match their home decor and they're not sure what the real color is. Because, you know, you wouldn't want to match your new outside furniture to white cloudy tiles. You want to match it to nice clean tiles so you can see the real color. Um, so those are the benefits of the stripping. And then, um, yeah. So anyway, I'll show you more of what we're doing on this particular project. You should subscribe. You should like us. You should love us. Uh, most important of all is just stay informed, know what you're doing, know your options, and stop listening to these douchebags at these hardware stores and, you know, online, you're finding those are clowns online, I mean, you should have heard what this guy told me other people were telling him, you know, and it's just like, you know, just stay informed, don't listen to these jerk-offs, do your homework, and that goes with anything in life, don't just go to the first dentist you meet, do your homework on a dentist, do your homework on a doctor, don't go to the first mechanic you meet, do your homework on the mechanics, look at some Yelp reviews, Look at what other people are saying about this guy. You know what I mean? Because that, that's what's real important. I just mainly, my, the reason I'm even bringing this up is I get call after call after call of people telling me, I just had this work done a year ago. I just did this the other day. I just did this. I just kicked this guy out because he started sanding him. I just come across all kind of craziness. You don't want to be the practice dummy and have some guy in there practicing on your floor because he, you know, he's got bills to pay. So something to think about. I'm going to get busy. We still got a little time left in my day so I could go to the beach and hang out and enjoy my life. Take care. Stay informed. Subscribe. You're, we're out of here.